In my lab, we're interested in fundamental cell biology questions like how does a cell know which direction to go in? Sperm find eggs, immune cells hunt down bacteria, and neuronal axons travel long distances to make connections with specific target cells. In my lab, we study how cells know which direction to go in, using budding yeast as a model organism. It turns out that when haploid yeast cells mate, they orient their growth towards their mating partner. We know that they use pheromones to signal their location to potential mating partners, but it's not clear how cells could effectively respond to tiny differences in pheromone concentration from one side of the cell to the other. In the last few years, we've discovered some really clever strategies for how cells do this, but many mechanistic details remain to be determined. Another question we're interested in is about proliferating cells. How do cells partition their contents during mitosis so that every daughter cell gets everything it needs in order to thrive? Others have studied this process a lot but they focused almost entirely on cells that double their contents and split evenly in two. We recently started studying a species of yeast that can grow to make five, six, or eight daughter cells at once. How can they make sure that every daughter cell gets everything it needs? We think such cells have a lot to teach us. We use a variety of approaches to address these kinds of questions. We extensively use genetic approaches, especially in budding yeast. We also use high-end microscopy imaging, computational biology, and biochemistry as well. Our lab is interdisciplinary and we take whatever approach seems necessary in order to crack the problems we address. I work closely with my students to ensure that they get the training they need to become successful independent scientists. Students in my lab attend national and international conferences and develop scientific communication skills. I also encourage my students to integrate their research projects with professional development opportunities in their areas of interest. If you're interested in understanding cell biology at a really molecular level and interacting with a diverse group of students, why don't you check us out?